What's good, Woz Nation? It's your boy Woz coming at you with another video. Look, Apex will have their official dev stream today. I'm sorry I'm a little late with this video, but you know, just got off. So anyway, but they had their dev stream. So we're gonna talk about what's officially been released that we know for sure coming for season four, all right? Got a lot of crazy stuff in this dev stream. Not too much, but not too little. It's very interesting in my opinion. So, if you're new to the channel, man, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, drop a like, and comment down below what are you most excited for, for season four. And then also, while you at it, follow me on social media, Instagram and Twitter. Links in the description below. Also, I will be streaming on Twitch, 9.30 Pacific Standard Time, every Friday and Saturday. So, if you ain't doing nothing and you up on a Saturday and want to grab a bowl of cereal, come watch me. Get some Apex Legends in. Okay, guys. See you guys at the end of the video. Peace. All right. For you guys that didn't know, Apex Legends Season 4 will be called Assimilation. And now, honestly, I think it's going to be more to this season than what we really think. Okay. But yeah, it's supposed to start on February 4th. February 4th is the one year anniversary of Apex Legends. Do you guys understand that? Apex Legends came out a year ago. No trailer, no build up, no nothing. They just worked on the game and dropped the game. And look at what it has become. It has become an amazing game. It's, still need, it's it, with a little few fixes that need to be done. But besides that, it's really not too much you can complain about Apex. So yeah, February 4th. So mark you guys calendar. We will be live streaming February 4th to stream this game. So yeah, mark your calendars. We're going to go crazy. With every new battle pass, you clearly get new exclusive items like legendary skins, a legendary weapon at the end, loading screens, and music packs. But th this time around, they're also giving away gun charms, a loyalty badge for the people that started playing Apex when it first came out. And also, from the February 4th to the 11th, you'll get 10,000 SP for your first match of the day, each day for that time period so if you're trying to grind your battle pass out make sure you guys hop on between february 4th and february 11th so you can get that 10k sp for your first game let's go crazy but i'm excited to see what these loyalty badges look like and i hope they give us more than just one origami thing but we'll see we'll see they might have some else up their sleeve we don't know also with every season we get a new legend or a new weapon well for this season we've getting a new legend called forge now, honestly, Forge is like a mixture between Hercules, Conor McGregor, and The Rock. Okay, maybe I am gassing, bucko. But, honestly, this is a very different type of legend than what we're used to. Forge is pretty much a brawler. Forge is pretty much a melee type of legend. If y'all don't know what that means, pretty much punching somebody. That long story short, in Apex, he he hands the hands, no guns. So I, I'm really I really want to know what their abilities for Forge will be. Now there have been some data mine leaked abilities that um I really don't want to discuss because they're not they're not um official. But I will talk about them just you know for uh purposes for um this video purpose so one is pull shot short range grapple that pulls enemies into you or can be used to launch yourself into the air another one is a ground slam press crouch while airborne to slam into the ground below another one is ko punch jump forward in direction press crouch while airborne to slam into the ground below and one two bull rushing a straight line if you hit an enemy along the way press again to do an uppercut launching you into the air also uh, on the ropes enhance your melee to do more damage the lower your health is dealing melee damage gives you temporary overshield and victory rest killing a player with a melee attack restores your health and gives you a 30 percent speed boost or uh 10 for 10 seconds so i do believe victory rush most likely would be his passive since he's a brawler type of legend but as far as the other ones that i've named off and read the description for there's no guarantee which ones will be the tactical or the ultimate. We don't know. We don't know until the game officially released, until we get some more info from Apex Legends or iLoot Games or One Mining Guide. They data mine some more stuff. But, so yeah, so those are some abilities that Forge could possibly have. Now, I am excited to have a new character to switch up the meta a little bit because I'm pretty sure Sincere Brawl, if he hits you, he might do 60 for a, me for a melee punch. Who knows? We don't know. We'll find out when he, when he gets here. So yeah, Forge. So we're getting a new weapon called the Sentinel. 
cut through your enemy's armor before they ever see you coming with this bolt action sniper. Alright, so I'm gonna assume this is gonna be a heavy ammo sniper. I mean, we already got the charge rifle, the triple tape. I don't think they need any more energy snipers. And plus, energy ammo is hard to come by anyway. So I think we're good for energy snipers. People don't really use the longbow anymore. I mean, how honest, let's, let's be real. If you see a longbow in a loot bin, are you picking it up? I'll wait. Probably not, okay? You're gonna take the G7, you're gonna take the charge rifle, you might take the triple tech with a precision choke if you have one, and the Kraber is a definitely must have, it's a legendary sniper. So I think they're gonna bring the Sentinel to kinda help where the longbow has fell off. I think they just gave up on the longbow because, I mean, don't get me wrong, when the longbow had skull piercer, it was perfectly fine. They should have just kept skull piercers in the game and just took it off the wingman and kept it on the longbow. That gave the longbow a reason to get picked up or just buff it. I don't know, but anyways, that's, that's enough of me rambling about that. We will have a sit sniper rifle, and it's called the Sentinel. I can't wait to see it in game, because I hate snipers. So I'm pretty sure somebody's going to knock me out with it. <laughs> All right, you little Apex Predator grinders. Look, Ranked Series 3 is coming at you, and it's coming at you fast and different and amazing. All right? Ranked Series 3 is going to be split into two different modes, right? February 3rd to March 23rd is split one. It's gonna be on World Edge, so if you already used to having your um your sh your uh, rotations and stuff on World Edge, cool, you'll be fine. You'll make Predator in no time. Hopefully before March 24th to May 5th, because that's when we go back to Kings Canyon, baby, the beautiful Kings Canyon. I can't wait. I've been dying to get some old Kings Canyon footage. So yeah, we go back to Kings Canyon from March 24th to May 5th. But after every time after the split's over. They're gonna reset your rep. You know what? Why am I saying this? I'm gonna just let you hear it from the dev's mouth. For the upcoming series of Ranked, uh, the first one is gonna be what we call Master Tier. Mm. Uh, so we're introducing a new tier. Basically, think of the existing Apex Predator tier right now. We're gonna rename that to Master Tier. So essentially, you know, if you get more than 10,000 RP, boom, you're into Master Tier. Gotcha. So, of course, the next question to ask is, so what are you doing with Apex Predator then? Um, Apex Predator, Season 4, Series 3, is going to be limited to the top 500 players per platform. Introducing rank splits. Mm. So, uh, last series, uh, it ran for the entire length of the Battle Pass season. Yes. This time around, we are having two splits for one Battle Pass season. In between the half, uh, between splits, you will have your rank reset like normal. So, for example, uh, if you're a Predator in split one, going into split two, you'll be reset down to plat two. So, I did tell you guys at the end of the video, I would tell you guys what I'm most excited about for season four and it's King's Canyon. I mean, I'm pretty sure that was a dead giveaway. But the reason why it's King's Canyon is just because the the, the nostalgia, like that's just it. I don't know. It's just something about that map that was just so beautifully well made. But uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Also, follow me on social media at It's Was. Links will be in the description below. I am also on Twitch at It's Was YT. Link in the description below. I do stream every Friday and Saturday at 0930 Pacific Standard Time. If you want to watch me grind some Apex Legends, that'll be the best time to catch me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Kill all the